as I said, it's a statutory provision. When you prepare a survey plan or you carry out survey on any parcel of land, it is an activity. And the the uh, the uh, survey law re re requires or prescribes that you should go and lodge Lodge. the record of that survey activity with the survey general. So that means it has nothing to Correct. do with maybe the any other survey that may be carried out on that parcel of land. Exactly. Don't forget that we earlier said that a survey plan is not a title document. Of course, it's, it doesn't show that you are the owner. If you if you look at the, the technical word that is used in the in the uh, address on the survey plan, it is uh, this. Say this plan showing pro, showing said property, to belong to said because you are the one that told me <laughs> that this property or this land belongs to me. You know, land doesn't talk. Of course. So as you are showing the survey of the land. If land were to talk, you say, don't mind them. It's not my owner. It's, it's but the land will not talk. Okay. You understand? Okay. So, a survey plan are prepared for several purposes. A survey plan which was prepared for Mr. A. When Mr. A transfers to Mr. B, another will be prepared for, for Mr. Mr. B. B as a change of, to, of the title, as a change of name, and so on, and so on. So, so, be, so there will be a layer. So, in land administration, that's where uh, such are now classified. It used to belong to this. So the land information system, a good land information system will reveal that, will show the history of any parcel or any property. As property passes from one hand to, to the another, the registered. So those are the, that's the importance of okay. registering. And then also to be able to cross check during the process of issuance of title. The, issue, the title issuance authority relies on the Surveyor sorry. General for advice. Aha. You understand? Aha. This um, parcel of land, this individual wishes to obtain certificate of occupancy and he has brought this survey plan. Help us to check whether you have the record in your archive. But it's just about you. If the Surveyor General does not have it in the archive, you say no. But say okay, no. if you now have for multiple people, what will happen? That's what I'm saying. That the, the, the title issuing authorities can then decide or determine who is the rightful owner. Don't forget that in obtaining, attempting to obtain a title, you bring some other documents. Of course, for instance, yeah. proof of you know how yes. you come to you know a whole lot of things. If it's a government scheme, is allocated to you. If it's an estate in fair simple, which is which they call. Uh, free from government acquisition, a okay, so family or somebody must have sold to you, and all that, and all that. So it too, and then where it becomes a subject of litigation, you go to court, and the court will determine. So, but the uh, so, uh, the so, the survey plan will instruct and advise even the judge amongst the many that, that you have before the judge. So that court. means that means that. Uh, by the time you will be, I mean, receiving such record or such information from the surveyor, regardless of the numbers of the record copy, I mean, the record copy you have there, you still continue to to collect it from them. Of course, yes, because the the law says when he has carried out a survey activity, he must lodge the records. So there is no way you can even cross check and say, okay, this survey plan though. That you are, you are, this record you are submitting for this parcel of land, though. someone else has submitted this thing maybe some years back. So, of what use is that information? Somebody, somebody has surveyed it. Somebody has surveyed it, meaning what? Meaning that, okay, because they have surveyed it, it belongs to that person they surveyed it for. So, don't do it. Okay. Because we are thinking that, because uh, sometimes we are thinking that that survey should be able to say, okay, when, because that is what people are thinking there, that, okay, when the survey has been done before, this is my survey plan, and that is what those people that are selling land, that is what they are now using to sell the land, that, okay, I have my registered survey plan. Now, now look at it, okay, registered survey plan, how, how had that become a title? You understand? They are, they are telling people that it's a registered title with well, that survey not, plan. It's not. It's not. The information that should go out there is that a survey plan is not a title document. Fine. Whereas, one surveyor cannot be uh, prevented from carrying out survey for another on the same parcel of land. Okay, so what about 
uh, if the survey plan is prepared for Mr. A and the record is lodged ahead of the one that is prepared for Mr. B, B. whereas Mr. B is the rightful owner. owner. Do you see the scenario? So if we have a condition that once a survey plan has been prepared for an individual and the, another is prepared in respect of for another individual, the one that is newly prepared must not be accepted into the record. Have you seen? Okay. That's, yes. that's the, of course. So, so, so at, the, at the point of the surveyor general, it's not where you determine the owner. Oh, nah. So the owner should but be determined. It is good to have because even in arriving at who is the owner, records that is logged with the surveyor general is of use. So that means that don't forget that it, among those records, we also see those that represents the position and the location of that person. Of, of course. So, so does that mean that date does not even count? The date of lodgement does not even count? I cannot say that because I'm not the one that will determine. Don't forget that at the time you are no. moving into those parameters, such as the date uh, uh, with which or at which the, the a survey plan was, was prepared, prepared, you are attempting to determine the, the owner. And it is not in the place of the survey. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying it for, for people to be able to understand this type of something now. That for the fact that, oh, the survey plan was done, the record copy was lodged before my, you understand? That means that... Uh, it doesn't confer ownership it, on you. Good. It doesn't mean that uh, the, the person who went to... That so, 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 so I'm not sure that that will count. I'm not sure that that will count. <laughs> you know, of course, uh, of course, I can't. Somebody could be fraudulent, he goes first to, to go and carry out the survey, and or somebody who is not the rightful owner caused a surveyor to carry out something and go to submit the records. 